Socrates told his students to examine every idea on its merits alone. And that's crazy. I think, I mean, it's dope crazy, <laughs> right? So in this episode, we're going to discuss and define critical thinking. What are the benefits to becoming a critical thinker? And finally, how do we develop critical thinking skills? Okay, so that's, that's my aim for this episode here, just to throw some things at you, right? Kind of intrigue your thought process and so forth. But before we get into this, let me share a quote from Thinknetic. When we use our intellect to prove a point we have not thought through, we are not thinking critically, no matter how well we do it. We often try to make ideas look better or worse than they are for our own gain. This is not critical thinking. So, then what is it? Critical thinking is great for many things. However, it is a great skill to have specifically when you're speaking or seeking the truth. Okay? It allows you to detect and avoid deception from others and identify facts which are accurate and brings you closer to that truth. This lost art form or skill is tied to our very existence, and many of us are ignorant to this fact. The simple explanation is we don't question existing traditions and ways of doing things. We accept inefficiency and incompetence as the norm. A perfect example to this was COVID, and it was a great example, right? So... Many of our systems today are outdated and irrelevant. And that includes our education system. If you listen to my previous episode, you'll know that I spent some time on that, right? Um, so if you're not sure which episode I'm speaking about, it's the episode entitled When People Matter. So check that out. And, um, um, you know, this idea um, also applies to our criminal system, cultural systems, and social systems. So, people with authority often tell us what to believe, and we accept it because of various reasons. But the main one is we lack the ability to think critically for ourselves, and we also live in fear. Now, <clears throat> a lot of you might challenge that and question that, and that's great. You should, okay? Uh, it might rub some people the wrong way. Some people might get all defensive before they actually think it through. And those are the people that I need to really take a moment, take a step back and look at the big picture, the overall picture, the impact of this picture in your own life and how it impacts others around you. Right. This is something that is very challenging for people to do, which is look at other people when they're thinking about the world. Oftentimes, it's easier for us to think about ourselves and only ourselves because we are in that state, in that world um, that society today where it's self-centered, self-serving, and it's always a me first, hence the term me too, right? I'm using it in a different context, right? But you get my point, okay? We just simply lack the ability to think critically. We are sheep. As much as you want to say, no, I'm not a sheep, I'm a wolf, I'm this, I'm that, you're a sheep because you comply, right? In one way or another, you have to be a sheep. In order for you to survive. And in some situations, some scenarios, you're going to be a wolf. Okay? And this is just the nature of how we are. We are adaptable beings. But the problem is, when the large percentage of us are the sheep, and we also lack the critical thinking skill set. 